I felt like I had awakened from a stupor. Because I had, for roughly 20 years, been doing research on a variety of interesting problems, things like aircraft propulsion and power generation. Worked also on corrosion of steel. It's an important problem. It's a billion dollar a year problem for industry. And then in 2007, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change issued their latest report that really unequivocally convinced me that human beings are having a profound effect on the climate. And so I decided at that very moment to reorient my entire research program to work on problems associated with energy. Nothing else mattered to me, and that's what I want to spend the rest of my career doing. And then in 2008, Gary Anlinger made an extraordinary gift to the university of $100 million to establish a center for energy and the environment. What I've been doing since I was appointed director is going to every department I can think of that would be potentially interested in participating in the center. I'm fully convinced that because of the track record of Princeton for doing interdisciplinary work, that we are in such a great position to do the research and education that we need to do to solve these complex energy problems. I think it will be wonderful to be able to have someone in physics look and see that there's somebody in chemical engineering who's working on a similar topic and will immediately know at the grassroots level who they can go to to start teaming up to solve new problems. And I want the center to be focused on solutions. Solutions in the area of sustainable energy, creation of liquid fuels, storage, energy storage is incredibly important. We have the budget allocation now for the building itself, which is going to be beautiful, but we absolutely have to raise the funds in order to create these new materials, these new devices that are going to change the world. What do we risk if we don't invest in the Anlinger Center and other centers like that? In some sense, we've already done that experiment. The U.S. has, has really not invested properly in energy R&D for, for decades. And as a result, we have fallen behind Europe, we have fallen behind the Chinese in terms of our innovation and, and our industries. We don't have any time to lose. My job to make my life meaningful is to do whatever I can to help the survival of the human race. And animals too.